everybody, welcome back to Random Pause. I'm Mitch and today I'm going to be copying uh, Shelly Carruthers uh, latest colour palette. Um, I'm obsessed with it, it's so cool and she's given me the okay to give it a go. Um, now I've been away from painting for a couple of weeks, you guys haven't seen that. Um, I only missed last week's video due to the power of scheduled videoing. Um, but I've rearranged my studio, I've made room for bigger and better things in here. I've got a second baker's trolley so I can do double the amount of coasters at one time and I'm super excited to get back into it and let's start painting. So I'll take you down onto the canvas, or onto the spinner, and let's start. All right, my tile's ready to go, everybody. And we're going to start off with our black pillow paint. So this is the Taubman's, uh, sorry. This is the British Paints exterior low sheen in black. I like the black for the pillow paint bec uh, in the exterior because it's the perfect consistency straight out of the tin. I don't need to fuss with it and it just holds up a lot better uh, than a few of the other paints that I've used. So uh, what I'm doing today is a swipe. So I'm going to get my swipe tool ready and my spatulas. Okay, and I might need my little blowing out tool. So let's see how that goes. Now, the way that Shelly's layered these, I might do it a little bit differently just to see what happens. So I believe she puts down frost first and we're swiping from right to left. So let's put down a row of frost. Then I'm going to put a row of dioxazine purple. Then a row of golden peach. These are this little piggy pigments. So frost and golden peach and comet that I'm using today, they're little piggy pigments. You can find them at fluid-art.co. And if you'd like to learn how to do this technique, you can take the course at shellyart.com.au for all the recipes, instructions, and everything that you need and access to the members only group. And if you use my code shellyart 15 mgrimer you'll get 15% off the course. Then I'm going in with goldens and thraquinone blue, a really nice dark blue color. And then this little piggy comet over the top. Now, Comet is an interference blue, uh, interference red to gold color. Now, for my cell activators, I'm going to put them directly onto my spatula here before I swipe. And I'm going to put my white on first. That's going to be my top cell activator color. Followed by uh, a little bit of the Atelier Titanium White mixed with Golden's Manganese Blue Hue and Matisse Cobalt Teal for a really nice pastel blue color that's what it looks like and here we go with the swipe straight across the top and i need myself a waist cup let's get one of them here Now I'm just letting those cells develop there, really come out and shine and show their true colours. And then we're going to give this a gentle spin to get the excess paint off. Let's spin that out. Oops, spun too hard and got paint everywhere like I usually do. It's been a little while, alright? Give me a break. Getting, ooh, I'm getting some really nice uh, reflections in there, but it doesn't quite give me the same effect that Shelly's does. So I'm just shifting the weight of the paint off center so that it actually moves and I don't get warped cells in the middle. Getting a little bit of beautiful golden interference from that golden peach there. But I lost a little bit of the other colours. So I'm going to change up the order of how I put them down. And let's see if that gives me the result that I'm after. Alright. But always remember that the first tile or the first canvas that you do is like a pancake or your first born child. It's always a little bit weird. It's 
just the tester and you get better at it as you go along. So that's just our first board. <laughs> so let's go back down with another tile and some more pillow paint. I'm going to spin this out to flatten it out a little bit. I find that helps with swipes to not overstretch the cells. Now I'm going to start with my darkest colour. I'm going to start a little bit further in so hopefully that colour carries a little bit more. So I'm going to start with anthraquinone blue. Then I'm going to go with this little piggy frost right next to it. Then we're going to do Matisse Dioxazine Purple. Now with this Dioxazine Purple, I actually mixed in a little bit of this Little Piggy Nightfall to give it a little bit of sparkle. Then with our Golden Peach. And then Comet over the top of that. Or on the side of that, I should say. Now back onto our Swipe Tool. Make sure you wipe it off. Onto our swipe tool with our titanium white and our blue mixture. I'm actually going to give a little bit more blue on this one. Let's hope it comes through and swipe straight across. Just going to take this extra paint with me. Definitely left more paint on this end this time. So that should all move back towards that way because there's a lot more weight of paint than there is at this side. And that should shift it all backwards. Now as that thins out and the weight shifts a little bit more, the cell activator should part and give us some really nice cells in this area down here. But sometimes you just have to give it a little bit of time. And again, just moving the weight of the center paint towards the edge or out of the center. And just giving this progressive spins to try and get some of that paint off. And as I spin, I'm watching the corners, watching the edges, making sure that the paint's not flying all over my workstation and all over me. Purposely haven't had a shower yet because I knew I was coming into the studio to do some painting. And I never leave here clean. Okay. Another big spin. Not looking too bad. So I'm losing my anthraquinone blue and the frost a little bit. There you can see that gorgeous color shift, but I am getting a lot of that nightfall mixed in with the dioxazine purple. So does that mean we have to change up our layering again? Let's find out. Just gonna even that out a little bit more than I did last time. Now, let's put down our frost first. And this time I'm sort of going to really lay the colour on a little bit thicker. Rather than in lines, and I'm just going to squiggle it. And hopefully that gives us a bit of better colour blending going on. I'm going to put the golden peach near the top. Because I really want to see that colour and I'm sort of losing it. And Comet. And then wipe off our swipey tool. I should really get a second um, offset spatula for this. And this time let's put the blue as our first cell activator on here. Followed by some white. And let's swipe away. may have pushed a little bit too hard on this one and you can see where the pressure is varied.
Now, because the black exterior paint is a little bit thinner, uh, not thin necessarily, but it's a bit more viscous than uh, some of the other base paints you can buy, it does tend to fling itself straight off the surface. Uh, but this time I've definitely got more of my colours in there, so I think drizzling the colours on is the way to go. I'm just moving that centre again, make sure, making sure I'm spinning off enough paint. Now I should say while I'm painting, we did our very first uh, open air markets a couple of weeks ago. And we had an amazing day, it was very successful, lots of people interested in our art. And we are going to the Christmas markets down here in New South Wales, uh, in Penrith, on the 18th of December. So if you'd like to come down and see what I've got, or if you're in the area and you want to come down and have a chat, you are more than welcome to. I met a, a couple of lovely, lovely ladies that came down to my stall in Windsor when we were down there. Okay, and let's do one more of this colour scheme, and then let's change it up. I want to do, uh, I started off with some really cool, funky interference coasters. They were some of the very first ones that I've done, and I really wanted to do them again. Um, because they didn't turn out the best, but they look amazing. And I've never done uh, any that are similar in the just over 12 months I've been painting. So I really want to do that again. So let's get the colours drizzled on here. We've got anthrac blue this time first. A little bit of frost now that we know that they're all going to mingle nicely. Our dioxazine purple mixed with nightfall, this little piggy. Our golden peach. Put that on top. And sometimes the colours that don't look like they're going to be cohesive or work together just look the best. Pleasantly surprised. And I think the blue on top worked for the cell activator, so let's go with that again. A little bit of white on the bottom, and let's swipe away. So that time I was a little bit more cautious with my pressure. So I'm not a fan of the streaky look that you get if you don't swipe it properly. Sometimes it happens, there's no avoiding that. Um, but it all comes with practice. So I'm much happier with how this one's turned out. Let's spin initially to get all of that extra paint moving and flowing. And swipe off our excess. Now this is where having the platform on the top of your spinner comes in really handy. If you're doing this without a platform on a bare spinner, the metal on metal from the offset spatula really grinds your ears. So. Uh, having a piece of silicon mat, the Fluid Art Co. silicon mats are absolutely amazing for this. Um, they are the perfect size to sit on top of your spinner. So if you don't have one, grab one of those because they will save your life when it comes to cleanup. Yeah, I'm just manipulating where the weight of the paint is going. And I'm trying to send it to this corner. Nice big spin. And everything goes that way. Beautiful.